Hi guys, welcome to Ushi's Food Chemist. Today, I've come up with a new recipe to meet you all. This is a delicious snack item all the way from Rajasthan. It's called Matri. Let's learn this recipe very quickly without wasting time. Firstly, I'm taking a mixing bowl. Add half a cup of maida, half a cup of wheat flour that is atta, one tablespoon of ajwain, one tablespoon of crushed kasturi methi, one tablespoon of pepper powder, one tablespoon of chili flakes, one tablespoon of baking soda, and required amount of salt. Now mix all the dry ingredients. Here, I have taken a combination of maida and atta. You can just take one cup of maida or one cup of wheat flour. Since I have taken half a cup of maida and half a cup of atta, it combines and makes one cup. Now add two tablespoon of oil. Crumble and mix it well with your hands. The flour should come in such a consistency that you should be able to hold a shape like this. At this stage, add required amount of water and make a dough. This recipe is very easy and very quick that goes well with the evening tea. Once you have made the dough, brush the oil and cover it with the cloth and rest it for 5 minutes. Now, in a bowl, take 2 cubes of butter. I have taken 2 tablespoons of rice flour but I am adding 1 tablespoon right now and I am mixing with the butter. Now, I am adding 1 more tablespoon of rice flour and mixing into a paste. Now, bring back the dough which was resting for 5 minutes. Make small balls like you usually make it for chapatis. Now I'm rolling those balls like chapatis. Don't roll them into very thin sheets, let it be this thick. Now I am adding those rolled sheets one on the other by applying the butter and rice flour mixture in between them. Once you have piled up those sheets one on the other, roll all the sheets into one like we do it for Swiss roll. Take a sharp knife and cut them into a little thin slice. Now I am taking those slices and pressing gently on them to make it a little flatten. Don't apply too much pressure on this.
Take a required amount of oil to deep fry and add those matris. To understand when the matris have fried properly, look for those bubbles to calm down. Be careful while frying out because these matris can just free out like the one which happened to me. Remove the excess oil. transfer into a plate and hey your delicious matri is ready to be served with the hot chai if you feel it plain here i've come up with a fusion which is most like a chat and is a delicious savory for that take one matri break it a little apart add a tablespoon of katta meetha chutney add one tablespoon of mint chutney or the green chutney half a teaspoon of amchur powder a little pinch of salt Add two tablespoon of curd, the dahi. Add finely chopped onions and finely chopped tomatoes. Now I'm adding one more tablespoon of green chutney because I usually prefer little spicy. If you prefer a sweet taste, add katta meetha chutney. Add one more tablespoon of curd and garnish it with the coriander leaves. And tada! The fusion matri is ready. Serve it with a hot hot chai and spend the evening with your loved one. And yes, don't forget to share your feedbacks or the experience about this delicious snack. So if you have liked this video, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family and please don't forget to give a huge thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell notification. So whenever I post the next video, you'll be the first one to watch. I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.